okay guys uh, let's take another question out there it says that solving real number the system of equation <coughs> a plus b equal to 8 a b plus c plus d equal to 23 a d plus b c equal to 28 and c d equal to 12 so a b c d these are real numbers and we need to solve for it now here this question is serving a particular purpose like if I see this a plus b then a b plus c plus d a d plus b c and c d term then we can actually think about uh, two quadratic polynomials like uh, if we consider x square plus a x plus c into x square plus b x plus d okay if I multiply these two quadratic polynomial the result we can see is going to be x to the power 4 okay x to the power 4 term is generated by multiplying these two now for x cube term you see that this will be multiplied with this so b x cube plus a x cube so it will be a plus b into x cube so what about x square term you can see that x square term is going to give you dx square plus cx square plus ab x square. So it is going to be ab plus c plus d x square. Plus after x square, x term will be there. Now for x term, you can see that ax will be multiplied with d that will give you x term adx plus bcx. So it will be ad plus bcx plus finally the constant term so that constant term is going to be c into d so plus cd so basically in the equation the values a plus b a b plus c plus d a d plus b c and c d these are become becoming the coefficients right okay so this is the plan here so we are getting a biquadratic polynomial that is x to the power 4 by substituting the values plus 8x cube plus 23x square plus 28x plus 12 okay this is the y quadratic polynomial that we are getting now to solve for abcd what you need to do is that we need to uh, factorize this biquadratic polynomial into this kind of two factors like x square plus ax plus c and x square plus bx plus d so if you can do that then we can compare and get the values of a b c d okay which we need to basically solve so uh, now our job will be to factorize this into this kind of two quadratic expression okay so for that we can factorize this polynomial like we can see that uh, as i have told you in the last video uh, we can use a method which is called the vanishing method so if we use that vanishing method here to factorize this particular biquadratic like according to the vanishing method you can easily check out that x equal to minus 1 is going to satisfy the equation okay x equal to minus 1 if you substitute you can check out in place of x uh, it is going to give you like 1 minus 8 plus 23 minus 28 plus 12 so you can see that the positive terms will give you 36 and the negative terms will give you 36 so it will be 0 so we can say that x plus 1 will be a factor x equal to minus 1 is a root so x plus 1 is a factor so let us use the method we have I have told you in the last video so I am dividing by x plus 1 so let us use the vanishing method I am dividing by x plus 1 so on balancing we can see this is going to be x cube uh, then this is going to be 7 x square then this is going to be 16x plus 1 and this is going to be 12. So on taking x plus 1 common, we are getting x cube plus 7x square plus 16 plus 12. Now for this cubic, for this cubic we can check out that uh, for this cubic by trial we can find out a root and it is going to be x equal to minus 2 okay because for cubic on putting x equal to minus 2 you can see it is going to be minus 8 plus 28 this is going to be 16x 
so minus 8 plus 28 minus 32 plus 12 so this is again giving out to be coming out to be 0 so for this uh, cubic polynomial we can say x equal to minus 2 is going to be a root so we can divide by x plus 2 so again follow the vanishing method I'm dividing by x plus 2 so on dividing by x plus 2 let's balance it it is going to be x square this is going to be 5x and this is going to be 6x6 six, six. so we have got two factors like x plus 1 into x plus 2 into x square plus 5x plus 6 now x square plus 5x plus 6 can very easily be factorized using your middle term factorization which you used to do in your junior classes so x square plus 5x plus 6 is going to give you x plus 2 into x plus 3 so we have uh, factorized this biquadratic polynomial in its four uh, factors and luckily we can see that the factors are very simple because the roots are integral so we are lucky this time anyway uh, so now we need to express this whole thing in terms of product of two quadratics so for expressing in product as product of two quadratic uh, we can see that either we can club x plus 1 x plus 2 and x plus 2 and x plus 3 that is one possibility so uh, we can take one case to be x plus 1 okay let's club x plus 1 and x plus 2 so this clubbing will give us the quadratic factor x square plus 3x plus 2 on multiplying okay and if i multiply these two factor it is going to give you x square plus 5x plus 6 so we can compare that this is the value of a this is the value of b this is the value of c this is the value of d on comparison okay or it can be like uh, or this is the value of a 6 is the value of uh, because it can be either way also so either way so from here better it will be to write down the values of a b c d like it can be one set of values like one set of value we can compare a equal to 3 b equal to 5 c equal to 2 and d equal to 6 this is one set of value and another set of values can be like if i take this to be equal to a that is 5 this to be equal to b that is 3 this to be equal to c that is 6 and this to be equal to d that is 2 so this is one case and uh, parallelly another case will be when we will be clubbing this x plus 1 and x plus 2 and x plus 2 and x plus 3 then what's what's going to happen then it is going to be x square plus no sorry uh, and the case we can check out is going to be x plus 1 into x plus 3 and x plus 2 into x plus 2 this will be the other case so x plus 1 into x plus 3 is x square plus 4x plus 3 and x plus 2 into x plus 2 is going to be x square plus 4x plus 4. So another combination of ABCD will be like uh, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D and another set this is a this is b this is c this is d okay so our final answer for this system of real numbers is going to be these four answers so this is one probable answer for values of abcd this is another probable values of, uh, for abcd this is another probable values for ABCD and this is final probable values for ABCD. So these are the solution of the system of equation. Okay guys, thanks a lot for watching this video and um, this is my contact info. 
and uh, if you think that this kind of videos are worthy and this kind of videos you need to um, see this more of this kind of videos and uh, then you can just uh, click the subscribe button on the YouTube just below your video tab and um, or you can like us on Facebook to get the video updates thanks a lot bye bye